Five soldiers have been killed in the seventh attack in Jammu in just a month from the time that Prime Minister Modi was sworn in for the third time. It was a classic ambush by terrorists. The army has launched counter-terror operations. The NIA has been called in. But the question I'm going to be looking at very carefully on the news track tonight is why has there been such a surge in terror in the Jammu region? Why not in Kashmir? And why is it that basic protocols are being violated which allows for the terrorists to pull off these kind of attacks? And most importantly, what's likely to happen next? Why is the ISI upping the ante in the build-up to the assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir? And how should India be responding? Five army jawans killed in a terror attack in Jammu and Kashmir. The terrorists ambushed their truck in Machedi, a remote area in Katwa district on Monday, leaving five others injured. The soldiers were on patrol when the attack took place. Naib Subedar Anand Singh, Havildar Kamal Singh, Naik Vinod Singh, Rifleman Anuj Negi and Rifleman Adarsh Negi are the brave hearts who lost their lives. Bullets are lying here. So one can just imagine the situation that must have prevailed here at that point of time when terrorists carried out this attack. Vehicles have to slow down, vehicles have to move slowly on this road because it's a kacha road and the terrorists specifically chose this place because they felt that they could, you know, inflict maximum casualties on the security forces. Sources tell India today the attack was carried out by Pakistani terrorists. Local guides helped the terrorists in doing recce and provided them food and shelter according to sources. Sources also claim that terrorists used US-made M4 carbine in the attack. The driver was targeted first to stop the RV truck from going forward. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has offered condolences to families of victims. National Conference Chief and former CM Farooq Abdullah has slammed Pakistan for promoting terror. Terrorism is not going to help anyone. If the country that is sending them, our country is sending them, and they understand that the opposition has launched a scathing attack on the Narendra Modi government over the attack. इस प्रकार के आतंकी घटनाएं लगातार बढ़ रही हैं। सरकार दावा करती सदन के अंदर लोकसभा में विधान राज्यसभा में कि मामला बहुत बेहतर हो गया है स्थिति नियंत्रण में है वहां कोई अब गतिविधि नहीं है लेकिन हमारे नौजवानों को अगर सीमा पार से शहीद लोग कर रहे हैं और उन पर घात लगाकर हमला हो रहा है जाने जा रही हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं सरकार का जवाब देना पड़ेगा द कथुआ टेरर अटैक इज द सेवेंथ इन जस्ट वन मंथ ऑल ऑफ देम इन जम्मू रीजन While the entire nation mourns the loss of our brave hearts, our netas continue to indulge in blame game. At a time when our politicians should have united against terror, they are scoring cheap brownie points over each other. This is Sunil Bhatt reporting from Bilawar in Katwa district of Jammu and Kashmir for India Today. So there are two aspects here. One, you've got... Uh... The terrorists and the handlers in Pakistan clearly wanting to up the ante in the build-up to the assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir. And secondly, you've got glaring lapses in security protocols as well. Let me take you through some of those lapses. You know, point number one, the failure to be able to deal, it's being said by sources in the army that there are about uh, two dozen terrorists uh, who are active in that Poonch region. We haven't been able to take them down. At that instance, there was a failure uh, to be able to detect the movement of the terrorists. It's been said uh, that there must be an effort to have drones flying in the area so you have an eyesight into what's happening in, uh, in front of you and uh, that clearly wasn't done. So first you have an intel failure to detect the movement of terrorists 
in the region. That's lapse number one. Let's now come to lapse number two. Why was there no road opening party? Usually on uh, routes which are deemed sensitive, early in the morning you have a road opening party which is the first uh, cavalcade that moves through very carefully, looks at the roads, whether they've been mined, whether there are any terrorists lurking, tries to sanitize that whole area. So before this uh, army truck went on that day in the morning, uh, why was there no road opening party that was deployed? Uh, to try and ensure that there were no terrorists in the area and the area was fully sanitized before vehicles were allowed to ply on it. Lapse number two. Why was a soft top truck used, you know, instead of using an armored vehicle carrier? Now, armored vehicle carriers have at least basic protection. They can't protect you against a massive missile attack, for example, but they can ward off most bullets and the damage would be much lesser. So why is a soft top a uh, vehicle being used rather than an armoured vehicle carrier when it's been decided uh, that in this Jammu region as well, now because of heightened security, the troops will only be moved in armoured vehicle carriers rather than in soft top vehicles. So that's lapse number three right there. Lapse number four, why is this area of Katwa, which really borders uh, Himachal Pradesh and is in Jammu, why is it being considered peaceful? On the 11th of June, two days after Prime Minister Modi was sworn in, there was another attack in the Katwa region. So, why is it being considered peaceful given the fact that the recent attacks have happened in the area of uh, Katwa? And then uh, the fifth lapse that we are looking at, that this area is closer to Himachal than Jammu. So, none of the Jammu-specific security protocols, because remember, in Doda, Kishtwar, Badarwa, Indarwa, that whole belt, a lot of heightened security protocols have been implemented because Katwa is you know, closer to the Himachal Pradesh border. Therefore, the same kind of security protocols were not implemented, which clearly was the wrong thing to do. So A, you've got lapses. B, you've got new intent from the terrorists and the handlers. And how should the Indian army and the Indian government now respond?